find the locus of points representing modulus of z minus a minus b i is equal to z plus a plus b i where z is equal to x plus y i. So before we go to complex numbers, let's understand what does modulus mean. In say let's start with real numbers. I've explained this in my previous video, but I'll explain this again. So what does this mean? Modulus of z minus say 1 is equal to 4. Basically, this question, if you want to put the in in words, uh, find x, find find the x's, find the x at a distance at a distance of four from one. This is what it means in simple language. Find the x or x's at a distance of at a distance of four from 1 from 1 so if you draw a number line what does this mean suppose this is a number line so this this is 0 and this is a 1 so tell me which are the numbers which are at a distance of 4 from 1 well you have one number to the right at a distance of 4 so plus 4 so you get well the answer is 5 and if you go 4 to the left if you go 4 to the left from 1 you're going to reach minus 3 so how do you do it algebraically this is you may have learned this so solving this algebraically we can say well x minus 1 can be 4 because modulus of 4 is 4 or x minus 1 can be negative 4 x minus 1 can be negative 4 because absolute value of negative 4 is also 4. So solving this I can you can you can see this x is equal to 5 and solving this you can see x is equal to negative 3. This is all it means absolute value. Okay so the only thing is you have to have a minus between this. So let me suppose what happens if it is x plus 1 x plus 1 absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to say 2 so writing this in a minus form I can say this is x take away so let me do this algebraically and then I'll explain graphically algebraically at times it doesn't make sense so you have to just go through the process so well x plus 1 is equal to 2 that's one answer which means x is equal to 1 and x plus 1 can be negative 2 because absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So solving this I can say x is equal to negative 3. So what does this mean? Let me put what does this mean graphically? So this means absolute value of x take away negative 1 is equal to 2. So basically you're asking the question which are the x's at a distance of 2 from negative 1? So say, say this is 0 and say this is negative 1. So which are the x's at a distance of 2? Well, you, you go 2 to the right. You go 2 to the right. If you go 2 to the right from negative 1, you're going to arrive at 1. Or you go 2 to the left. From negative 1, you're going to arrive at negative 3. And that's what these answers are. So in complex number, the idea is the same, nothing different. Okay, so we need to write this. And so let me write this in there. So absolute value of z minus a minus bi is equal to absolute value of z plus a plus bi. We can get the answer or sense of the answer by just understanding the meaning. So what does this mean? So this means absolute value of z minus effect to the minus r will be a plus b i. a plus b i. Okay. And this if you if you want to put a minus here, I have to put minus a minus b i. So let's understand this. Okay. So what does this mean? So if you want to graph this, <coughs> so 
So in, in real numbers, sorry, in complex numbers you have the two axes, this is the real axis and this is the imaginary axis. So A plus B I, say this is A and say this is B I. So this is the complex number. This is the complex number A plus B I. So basically, yeah, what we are saying is the distance between A plus B I, the distance between A plus B I, or tell me all the complex number which are at the same distance from A plus B I and minus A minus B I. So if this is A, this is going to be minus A. And if this is plus B, this is going to be minus B I. So this point is minus A minus B I. So now use your common sense. What are the points, or which are the points which are at the same distance from these two points? So let me draw a dotted line. So basically, there's a, this will be, they are actually reflection. So well, the point is going to be a line, okay? So the line would be a line passing through. My drawing is not good. So this line, if you take, you can find a line such that if you take any point here, say this is say x1 or say if this is a point p, this distance is equal to this distance. Okay, so if you take a point q here, you can find a line having this characteristics and this is basically the perpendicular bisector of this line. If you learn coordinate geometry, you can say what distance is equal to this distance and this distance is equal to this distance. Okay, so basically we know the equation of this line should be y is equal to something x. Okay, this would be negative because uh, this is going down. Okay, so this is something x because the gradient is negative. That's what I can say. Okay. So let's do the algebra now. So what are we doing? Okay, so the question is, let's start here. Absolute value of C minus A minus B I is equal to absolute value of Z plus A plus B I. Okay, so putting Z is equal to X plus Y I, I can say X plus Y I minus a minus b i is equal to absolute value of x plus y i plus a plus b i. Now let's group the real and the imaginary part together. So we can say this is x minus a plus y minus b i is equal to absolute value of x plus a plus a y plus b i. So using the formula or uh, if you have absolute value of z is basically using Pythagoras is square root of x squared plus y squared. So how do how do we get this? Suppose let me again explain this is this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. And this is the complex number z, which is x plus y i. So this is your x, this is x, and this is y i. So what is modulus of z? Modulus of z is this distance from the origin to the complex number. So here you can understand this is your horizontal part this is y x or this is x and this is the vertical part so using Pythagoras absolute value of z is square root of x squared plus y squared the only thing that you have to remember is don't put i because i is only telling you the position of y so using Pythagoras same way I can say x 
minus a the whole squared plus y minus b the whole squared is equal to square root of x plus a the whole squared now squaring both sides so expanding both sides this is what you get so let's cancel what we can from both sides well you can cancel this x squared from both sides you can cancel the y squared from both sides you can cancel the uh, I have missed out an a squared here okay so I have so this should be plus a squared here and you have a plus a squared here I hope you can see so the plus a squared will get cancelled plus b squared is going to get cancelled so what is it remaining is you have minus 2 x a minus 2 y b is equal to 2 x a plus 2 y b so bringing, bringing the x's and y's on both sides you can say minus 4 x a is equal to 4 y b so you can say y b is equal to minus x a so let me write finally here so y is equal to minus a over b x is the equation and that's what we got I told you the equation is a straight line passing through the origin so this is what I said this line is this equation of this line is y is equal to this is what I said minus a over b x because it is passing through the origin and if you take any point on this okay say and find the distance the distance of that point from these two points they're always going to be the same 